Hi, this is David Healy at LibraWave. In this video, I'd like to give you a walkthrough of Michaela's harp. So this is a library I made quite a number of years ago, originally for Contact, then it was made as a VST plugin, and now it's a Rhapsody Player library. So for this version there have been some new features added, and the samples have been reworked a bit to improve the sound and reduce noise and things like that. The samples in this library were recorded by harpist Michaela Doherty, and the library is available from LibraWave.com. There's a link in the description below the video on YouTube. So Michaela's harp is a Celtic harp library. It's a very beautiful instrument in my opinion, with a lovely sound. And in this video I'm going to walk you through the interface and the articulations. So in the top left we've got the velocity editor, so this allows you to adjust the velocity response of the instrument. So we can add new nodes by clicking on them and we can drag them around. We can adjust the curve between the nodes by right clicking between them, and moving the mouse up and down, and we can delete nodes by right clicking on them. Next to velocity we have the dynamics tab, which just gives us an expression control. This is set to CC11. You can reassign this control and most of the other knobs and sliders on the interface by right clicking on it, and going to the assign MIDI CC menu and choosing a different CC number. You can also use the Learn MIDI CC option, just click that, and move a continuous controller to assign a controller of your choice to the control. Below the velocity and the dynamics we have the envelope, this is a standard Amplitude AHDSR envelope, and you can change the shape so we can control the attack and the attack curve, and you can set a unique shape for each articulation, so as I go through different articulations we could set a different shape for each one. So you're not tied to one shape for all of the articulations as you are with quite a lot of instruments out there actually. Okay in the middle we've got the articulations, and we'll go through all of these in a minute. Over at the right we have the mixer. So Michaela's heart was recorded in a fairly small studio, but we've got a close mic, and a room mic, and we've also got a direct input because this harp actually had a built-in pickup, which was really nice. So we'll just have a listen to each of the mic positions. So these buttons underneath can be used to purge the individual mics, and these knobs up here are used for panning. So we'll listen to the close mic. And now the direct input. And finally the room mic. And I like a mix of all of them together, I think it gives a really nice rounded sound. Below that we can choose the outputs, because I'm running this as a standalone app, I only have a stereo pair available to me, but if you're running this inside the plug-in version in a door, you can assign extra outputs and have each mic position go to a separate output. Below everything we've got the on-screen keyboard, the light keys here show the playable range, and this will change depending on which articulation you have selected, so some articulations don't have as many playable keys. At the left side of the keyboard we have the red keys which are for changing the different articulations, so these are key switches. So now let's look at the articulation list, we have the basic sustains, We can see the name of the key switch to trigger the articulation over here at the right hand side, so the sustain articulation is C0, if we go to sustain and repeat, that's C sharp 0. So sustain and repeat is just what it sounds like, I'll press sustain, and when I release the key, it will re-trigger it. 
So this is great for creating tremolos, for example. Then we have the sustain with a stopped release, and you can see this is a more limited playable range. So when we release the key, the strings will be suddenly stopped. So now we have the damped articulation. Usually with the harp, when you pluck a string, the other strings around it will vibrate and create audible resonance. So what we did for the damped one was we muted the strings directly around the string that was being plucked. So we get less of that resonance. And we can compare that to the standard sustain. So here's the sustain. And here's the damped. So it's a bit less resonant. And just like the sustain, we've got the damped with repeat. And the damped with stopped release. And then we have the stopped articulation, which is a pluck followed shortly after by the hand stopping the strings from vibrating. And then we've got the stopped short, which doesn't have that initial pluck, it's just the stopped sound. And this is what we were hearing for the damped stopped release and the sustained stopped release. Then we have triplets. And then we have the triplet split. So what I did for this one is I took the previous triplet samples and I chopped them up and then I've mapped them in such a way that we can trigger them with round robin so that we control how quickly they're triggered. So if we play the same note three times, we'll hear the full triplet. Now let's say you accidentally play it four times. All you've got to do is wait two seconds and the round robin will automatically reset and then you can play the triplet properly. So Michaela's harp comes with a number of presets. If we click on the name of the current preset up here, we'll get to the preset browser. And here are the factory presets. So we're in the natural category and Celtic harp is the default preset. And this is just the standard sound of a Celtic harp. So if you just want that sort of natural sound, this is the preset to go with. So let's have a listen to some of the others. So we'll go for ambling. And all of these presets are just adjustments to the controls on the interface. So there's nothing too special going on. We can use these buttons here to go back and forth between the next preset or go to the previous preset. So we can see with this preset, the mic mixer controls have been adjusted and the envelopes have been adjusted and the velocity sensitivity as well. So that was a walkthrough of Michaela's harp. You can find this library at LibraWave.com. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.